The illegal Venezuelan migrants accused of murdering 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungare in Houston, Texas, appearing in court Tuesday. The judge saying he wants both to face justice here in the United States. The death penalty has not been ruled out. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened to her or any child. Her mom calling for tighter borders. We have to have more reinforcement when it comes to letting people in. This is not okay. New customs and border protection numbers reported by Fox News show so far for fiscal year 2024, 13,000 criminals have been caught at the border, compared with just over 4,000 criminals in 2019. Many of those recently apprehended were convicted of serious crimes like assault, battery, domestic violence, homicide, and sexual offenses. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas addressing concerns Wednesday. The safety and security of the American public is indeed our highest priority. The secretary pushing back when questioned about new reports that 400 individuals recently crossed illegally through ISIS-linked smuggling networks, raising concerns over national security. NBC News crediting the information to DHS officials. That reporting is incorrect. We spoke with Republican Congressman Randy Weber, who represents the outskirts of Houston, where Nungari died. Like a lot of people, I'm just outraged at why this is allowed to keep going. Why the open border is not a priority for uh, Joe Biden, I, I don't get it at all. Democrats like Jim Costa from California agree changes must be made. Border security is a problem, and it has been not only in the last three years, but uh, I would submit to you for decades. Where the two sides disagree is on how to solve the problem. Voters continue to rank immigration and border security among the top issues. It's expected to be hotly discussed during the very first presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.